everybody from Illinois. Howdy doody. Yeah. Happy Saturday. Saturday. It is Saturday. Yep. Yep. Man, so we got our load picked up and we are on the road. Yeah. We are heading from Indiana to Southern California. California. Yes, sir. We got about 2,200 miles and we got three pieces at about 290 pounds. Yep. So yeah, lightweight load. Nice one for the weekend. Yeah, yeah, it's a nice long one. We picked up yesterday, mm -hmm. and like we're we just didn't feel like driving yesterday, so we just stayed at a truck stop last night and just figured we'd leave out this morning because that still gives us plenty of time. What do we got? Like two thousand miles? Yeah, a little over two thousand. I think it's closer to twenty two, maybe twenty one, than some change. Yeah, but yeah. Where we're delivering, we have to have an appointment, and you can't get there early. So we figured, yeah, we'd kill a little bit of time yesterday before hitting the road. Yeah. And yeah, we're uh, in Illinois now. Just got into Illinois. Just yeah, we just <laughs> left out like two and a half hours ago, I think. Two and hours. It's chilly. I love it. I love it. I know, you see me, I'm in my jacket and sweatpants, yeah. not this one. It's going to be a, just a long, boring weekend for us, driving yeah. across the country. <laughs> Although we are going west, so it's always beautiful yeah. driving out. Yeah. We'll be going across the 40 most of the way. And... We'll, we'll be taking 64 to 44 to I-40, which pretty much takes us all the way across. Mm -hmm. and I think we're delivering like LA-ish area, yeah. I think. Yeah. yeah, it's around L.A. Kinda and then it's like a Long Beach. We got our next week all booked up. So. We, we have all next week booked up and just by luck, really. Yeah, it's going to well, be a busy week. <laughs> well, yeah, we're going to be going nonstop. We'll, we'll have a couple nights where we get to park and sleep for the night, but we have a load the next morning and then we have to run again. And, mm -hmm. a, couple, um, a little bit of deadhead between each one. So. There must not be a lot of trucks out in California because we just got these loads by them calling us. They seen we were heading out that way and gave us a call. And we had actually got a call Friday, Thursday, the same we had a load that we were going out there and wanted us to do like a short one. But we were like, uh, no, we're going to wait, you know, kind of hold out. Mm. Um, usually when they're calling you before you even pick up your <laughs> load that's going to that area. There's it, not a lot of trucks out there. It means there's not a lot of trucks out there. So um, that usually gives you the opportunity to be a little patient. Yeah. That, that kind of gives you the sign or the telltale. Like, how do you know when to take a load, when to turn down a load? Um it's times like that, you know, when you're getting that call way in advance before you even picked up your load, um, you know that you're the, there's not a lot of options out there for them. Yeah. So it kind of gives you the, uh, to let you know, just be a little patient. Mm -hmm. You know, don't jump on the very first load unless it's a great load, of and course. Unless, yeah, unless it's something you want to do. Yeah, unless you know? yeah if you want to do it and it works for your business, where well, everybody out here is so different. Yeah. You know, what, what you find profitable, I may not find profitable. What I like to run, you may not like to run. And, you know, for the most part, I think most people like to run cross country. <laughs> we do have some friends, though, that they'll do short loads all day long, every day, all week. Oh, you know? yeah, it's, yeah, it's, yeah. That's just what they like to do. And yeah. There's good money in those loads. You just run a lot more. Yeah. I mean, I get, I, I say you run a lot more because if you think about it, if you're doing five short runs in a week and you're still averaging three to 4,000 miles doing those versus one long run that's maybe 2,000 miles, but you're doing more work doing those short runs. It's a lot yeah. more pickups and deliveries, deliveries and, and in and out. Dealing and, with customers. Yeah, and, yeah. But then we're dealing with more traffic going through cities and yeah, depending. depending. So everybody's going to be different. And it's we, we always try to tell people when they're coming out here that that's why nobody can tell you how much you're going to make because nobody knows how you're going to come out and want to run. Yeah, everybody's different. Everybody's going to be different. Now, you got your ballparks and sure, everybody in mostly everybody that does expediting they make good money you yeah. know they, they they wouldn't be doing it if there wasn't money to be made right, right that's one of the biggest questions we always get can you even make money doing that <laughs> i'm like i've been doing it eight years uh, <laughs> <laughs> a mean, lot of people have been doing it a really long time if there wasn't money it, the, the the best question how do you make money right and another big thing is 
the money is not always consistent. Yeah. yeah you know, yeah. you could have a killer week, one, two weeks, and the next week or two, you have a crap week. You yeah, know, it's just yeah. not consistent. You have to look at the big picture. You can't, you know, when people ask, oh, how much do you make a week or a month? Well, that's irrelevant. You need to look at the whole year. Yeah. Because there's some months we knock it out of the park, and there's some months it's just not that great. It all depends on the economy, what's going on, if there's holidays. I mean, there's so many factors. Yeah. And we tell people that all the time. You know, I, it's, I, it's, I think the biggest contributing factor to making the most money and being the most successful in what we do is patience. Patience and having as many qualifications to haul as many types of loads Absolutely. as you can. But even with the qualifications, if you don't have the patience, you, you're you could be just running your wheels off, you know. And we I do think. that sometimes too, you know. We oh, find gosh. ourselves, oh, you know, we'll sit a day and then we, the longer you we sit, the more antsy, antsy you get. You get and you're like, are we going to, what are we going to get? Oh my gosh. <laughs> or, oh, we got to sit in front of the Qualcomm. We got to check the low bore. What a, yeah. Oh, somebody called. Oh, get it, get it, get it, you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's human nature, but you really have to be patient. I, I think one of the biggest things that, uh, kind of irks me a little bit is when a dispatcher or an agent or somebody calls and it's not a great load but they say well i i, I seen you sitting there i thought you might want to at least get get going <laughs> No, no, that, that's the wrong attitude to have. Well, I haven't had a load in two days. I better take something because a lot of times by taking that something, you miss out on what you wanted. Yeah. Or you miss out. And that don't always work. But it doesn't. Patience is, oh my gosh, key. It yeah. is. And I, whatever your company's policy is or whatever load counts or anything they use, if you're not sticking to your guns and your patience and figuring out where to run and how you like to run it's it'll be a struggle and a lot of people get frustrated so yeah. patience patience you gotta patience. be patience patience <laughs> <Taiwan>. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that one. So, Ooh, you need little to, rant there you need to go potty yeah we gotta let the dogs out you and make, heather's getting ready to take over yeah. and i'm laying down start and, this long trek for tonight i think i'm going to be stopping at the ta in mount vernon missouri to missouri off. and then what's after that probably amarillo amarillo it's usually about oh. and then do you know where the next one is after that um probably somewhere in arizona uh da, 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 t not tonopah but um no. gosh what is that one the one where the exit to vegas yeah what is that King, uh kingman kingman kingman, <laughs> kingman arizona yeah. yeah that'll be our Final fuel fuel, before fuel process cars. yeah now will get us uh, into California and out of California. Mm -hmm. Usually Kingman yeah. gets us in and out. So yeah. yeah, so we will check up with you guys later. Cool. Thanks. <laughs>
the deep sleep that deep deep sleep yeah. when, whenever you're sitting of course yeah. yeah unless you're just dead tired then you can sleep through i know there's times when i've been just so tired i don't even wake up one time until it's time to wake up i'm sure you wake up but you're just so tired you don't realize you wake yeah. up because I, there's i don't think there's anybody could sleep just non-stop every night <laughs> yeah. it's oh my gosh these roads out here are just absurd yeah they are it's cold here in oklahoma it's like 40, 40 degrees 40 degrees i'm oh loving God. it loving it not me loving it not every me. bit of it i'll have the heat blasting back there when i'm back there i'm sure <laughs> Time to put on my PJs and go snuggle with the babies yep. after you let them OUT. I'm going to let them out real quick. It's my turn to let it's them out. It's your turn. Yeah. Yeah, I got to give Tyson his medicine before he goes to bed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I love that boy. I know. He, he is just so chill. He is. He is Abby's so chill. The hyper Her, one. It's like, she oh my gosh, dog, one. just calm down. <laughs> Aren't you? You're the hyper one. Chill pill. I know. She's so hyper all the time. And she's a year older than him. I would have yeah. thought she has not slowed down. Well, as she slowed down, I know. <laughs> I noticed the way she jumps up sometimes. She's like, oh, oh, that hurt. That, that, oh, my hip. Oh, oh no, my. No, but as far as like her, her hyperness, she has not slowed down. Yeah. No, you yeah. haven't. I think her, her hips and joints catch her sometimes yeah. and say, you ain't no young whippersnapper no, no more. No, she's not. She's, <laughs> not. she's gonna be eleven. I know. Oh, lady. Just like your mama. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right. Well, let these babies out so I can go to bed. I and I'm going to pass yet. the reins over to you to knock out some miles. Okay. <laughs> Pull the whole nighter. Pull the whole nighter. Time change soon. Time changes in a week. By the time you're seeing this, uh, it will already change. No, I don't think so. No. I don't Close. think so. It'll be almost changing. Close, now. yeah. Yeah. When needs to change, get start getting brighter earlier again. <laughs> it's all eight o'clock until the sun comes up. Oh, is yeah. and then we'll have oh yeah, it'll start getting dark uh, earlier. Yeah. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna let the dogs out. <laughs> we out. <laughs>
Yes. Oh, do they? Yes. They finally have the exit for Whitaker Road oh and for the TA and exit? Amarillo. 72, 73, 74, I think. Yeah. yeah. Well, what, what they got going on now is that side of the highway is open and now they're starting to work ah, on the other side. Ah. So, oh, so if we have to fill up there coming back on the 40, we may have to take it. We different may exit. have to take a different Yeah, because for the yeah. longest, they had that exit closed because they've been doing road work there. Yeah. You had to either exit way before and run the service road or Go exit past. after and loop back, loop around, back around and come yeah. down the service road. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. nice. Oh, I got to listen to The Social Dilemma last night on Netflix. I watched that the other day. Yeah. Yeah. I, I put it on and then, like, I set my phone over in the passenger seat and just listened to it. Because I don't think there's much visual to it at all. So, mm -hmm. I just want to listen what they were talking about. And I guess I could see some sense to it. Yeah. I know recently I've taken Facebook off of my main screen. And I've moved it to my, like, secondary screen that I have to flip to for apps. Having it over there on that second page i hardly ever check it now they made a lot of good points in that if you haven't seen it it's on netflix yeah it's on netflix um, but yeah basically talking about how social media is <sighs> kind of taking over our lives and how they well it, it's these algorithms uh, the algorithm and how and they how and, they're making money off of the impressions they make and yeah. how they're tracking people and yeah. that's why you get ads you may be you may have been mm. looking at something on google or facebook and then all of a sudden on instagram you're getting ads for something you looked at or yeah you know yeah, just yeah. i'm sure you all know what we're talking about but yeah. it, it was pretty interesting I, I was more concerned about like our whole voter the register election stuff and how other countries are using it to stir up crap and you know, I mean, look at the year we've had this year, you know, and it's crazy. a lot of it stirred up from uh, online, social media, fake news. Yeah, um, they were just talking about fake news. Fake yeah, news yeah, about and... how, you know, the just the, yeah, you can't really, you know, if you hear something online, do yeah. your research and, and research it to make right. sure it is right, accurate. Right. And, and if it sounds outlandish, most of the time <laughs> it really is, yeah. you know, even like, I mean, just crazy stuff. If it just sounds so crazy, go, go do a search because most of the time when I see something that just sounds super crazy, mm -hmm. I'll, I'll be like, yeah, that don't make sense. I'm gonna have to go <laughs> research this. So. Yeah. And a lot of times you find out it's not even accurate. Yeah. Or, yeah. But yeah. then, I mean, even like fact check and all those websites, it's hard to believe what they're, if yeah. they're, it's really factual or it, it sucks. Cause like, online and social media can be such a great tool yeah absolutely. but we're doing something way different with it like it's heading down a different direction that isn't for the good yeah. <laughs> probably isn't going to be for the good like i love being able to network with other truck drivers see what's going on in other cities how people what are p other people are sharing and how they operate their business and you know I, I just love that part of it there's nothing i can't learn how to do by just getting on the internet and going and searching finding a group you know uh googling YouTube, it youtube YouTube videos, yeah. how to do stuff it's... like us for the uh, for the longest we've had we don't even have notifications on our phones no we turned our notifications off yeah for facebook instagram <laughs> youtube uh, all of that we don't get email notifications alerts we we have all that turned off and we only see a message if we God, there's just one, there's a one pesky one fly. fly. That been in here for like two days. <laughs> but we don't have all those notifications turned on, so we don't yeah. know if we got messages or anything if we, unless we go to the app and look at it. Yeah. But sometimes we do catch ourselves going to look at it a lot in yeah. one day. So yeah. I'm going to put Instagram on my second page. YouTube, I'm not giving up YouTube. I love my YouTube. <laughs> well, uh, you can find out so much information. I There's love just a... watching. Yeah. yeah. I start to go down these rabbit holes. Joe Rogan, I've been listening to his podcast at night when I'm driving a lot. And, like, I'll go down this rabbit hole of listening to a lot <laughs> of what. And he's pretty good. Like, he, if, yeah. if it's false, he'll come back and say it's false. Or they'll try to do their research to make sure they're talking about something factual. And he's a pretty educated guy. But, like, you go down this rabbit hole. If you start watching one thing, it keeps recommending other stuff. And that's, and, part, of the, uh, that's part of YouTube's algorithm. They talk about it on, yeah, that, on, yeah, on the social yeah. dilemma. It's just, you know, they 
track what you're watching and what you're clicking and then they start recommending those types of videos yeah more, yeah and it, yeah it, and they track yeah. what you click like on what you click dislike on what you know all that stuff and they're just all this ai machine is doing is just learning your personality yeah it's kind of creepy it's yeah it's it's, it's cool to, it's a cool little uh documentary yeah check it out it's like, it's like an hour and a half long and yeah Pretty cool, yeah. The social, the social dilemma on Netflix. Yeah, but so. I am taking over. This one's gonna get some rest. I am going to get some rest. Yeah, I'm we'll uh, we'll get there. We're gonna go ahead and end this one here, and we'll pick up tomorrow after we get delivered. We still got 800 miles to go. Yeah. yeah. So stay tuned. See what happens this next week. Like we told you, we're already booked up. So yeah, yeah. It's gonna be a good week. Yeah. Should be. Yeah. Thank you guys as always for watching and subscribing. And tell our next video. Peace, love, and expediting. Hey, you guys got anything to add? Got anything to add? Nope, we're just tired. Come nope. lay down with us. Yeah, I'm coming back there. Yeah, you ready for daddy to lay down? <laughs> <laughs>